I watch a lot of films and during the pandemic, I've chosen almost all the features that we've shown as part of social distancing cinema. Um, I thought the movie was an amazing display of chaos and confinement. You, you, <laughs> basically, you basically didn't go more than a minute without something going awry. And I love the weird little details that are easy to miss the first time you watch the movie, um, such as the scurrilous comments in the crawl on the news reports, <laughs> or the fact that the the um, portrait of the fourth graders was of a class in detention. <laughs> I enjoyed that. So all all the pieces of this movie, the the actors and the dialogue and the direction, um, it just seemed so natural and so absurd. Uh, I want to congratulate you on a very entertaining movie. Wow, thank you so much, David. That means a lot to, I think it's safe to say, all of us here. Yeah, thank you. My phrase, yes, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Um, how much of the dialogue was scripted and how much was improvised? All credit goes to the, the performers who aren't here and the performers who are here when it comes to the dialogue of the movie, certainly. Yeah. Would you guys, Phil and Kara, would you say that's accurate? Definitely. Yeah, he gave us scenarios and just kind of said go and with the cameras rolling for seven, eight. How, I, it was a long day. Um, <laughs> Yeah, all day. <laughs> um, he gave us backstories too for our character, so we like could study the character and know how they would react in those situations. So we could kind of bone up that way. But uh, yeah, it was all on the fly. Wow, and yeah. all shot, all shot in one day. All the stuff in the house uh, was shot in two days. All the interview stuff, ah. the stuff that's off location, kind of various days. Let's say over the course of seven spread out days. So let's say nine days, nine or ten days total to shoot this oh, movie. Okay. Do you all have improv backgrounds, especially being from the Chicago area? Uh, Phil, Kara? Uh, I took classes at Second City, but not, you know, at the high level, but we all did. I met them doing improv shows um, in a small theater in Chicago, so, mm -hmm. um, or sketch shows. So we, I, I have a little bit of a background. Yeah. Yeah, I do a little bit as well, but nothing uh, on this scale that we, that we attempted with this movie. So that was a first for me. Well, I have a question for Kara. And that is, is there anyone in particular you modeled your performance on? Uh, um, so we shot this a while ago. This was back in 2013. That's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing I don't like to advertise too much is that th this was shot a long time ago and was distributed just recently. Because, yeah. well, various reasons, but please. Oh, so. I think at the time that the tea party and like Sarah Palin were kind of in my head a little bit. Mm -hmm. So um, that I actually have a bachelor's in, in history and I focused on um, American politics a lot in my studies. So I kind of <laughs> grew from that knowledge too of like the entire history of the United States political system. Um, but yeah, definitely I'd say the tea party. I kind of was just like reading about them at the time. Awesome. So that, that's what inspired you to bring up the Whiskey Rebellion. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I love I, that. I, I like the way, you know, it, it tells me why this works in that when you had the group all in one room, every time somebody would start talking, someone else had his own agenda that would just butt in. And it's, I don't know, it, it, it's like, uh, Sort of like a martial arts film, but verbal. <laughs> I love that. That's a. I love that. Um, I think. I think part of making a character like an ensemble, in particular, for me, is kind of leaning on archetypes. You can do that because that's going to breed comedy or conflict. I'm sorry, and conflict breeds comedy to me. You have to have a, a conflict-soaked narrative, and then when you have these clashing personality characters together in the same room, of course, they're gonna. There's going to be conflict. 